So the Cardinals make a, a big splash by bringing in Arenado. And I had heard, Paul, that you guys, you and uh, Nolan had a, a good relationship before um, that move was made and that you, you know, had been talking to him. Tell us about your relationship with Arenado and just your thoughts on him as a player and w what he can be for your ball club. Um, I mean, first off, he's a great player. He's one of the best players in the league. And, um, man, we were excited to have him. It was a huge addition for us. And he's uh, fitting right in, and it's going to be great. I mean, we just, you know, him and I have been playing against each other for a long time. We were drafted, played against each other all the way back in rookie ball in the big leagues for a long time, Arizona and Colorado. Got to play on the all-star team together a few times. And then also probably when we became, you know, better friends was on Team USA. Uh, with the World Baseball Classic a few years ago. So just getting to know him along with other guys around the league. Um, you know, obviously, it's, it's good to have a friend here. But more importantly, just a great player and, and teammate and a guy who wants to win and um, a guy who's excited to be here, too. Uh, someone told me that he's actually like you guys are similar in your approach and that Arenado is like one of the first guys to the field works, works just because he loves baseball. Yeah, he, he is. He does love it, and he gets after it, and, and we enjoy that, and uh, you know, it's fun. We got, that's, that's our whole team, though. We don't have anyone who's lazy here, and, and that's what I mean by he fits right in. And um, We're all here to get better and, and help each other out and, and try to help this team win, and um, like I said, he fits right in with that. You guys also have some young players, and the, the Cardinal veterans always go out of their way to help along the younger players. Um, Dylan Carlson mentioned that uh, you know, you've been giving him advice, suggesting some books that he read. Can you just talk about the responsibility you feel as one of the Cardinal veterans to help along the young guys like Dylan Carlson? Yeah, well, I mean, honestly, for me, it started with my career. Even when I was in the minor leagues, I went to my first big league camp, and just the guys who took me under their wing, who showed me how to prepare every day, who you know took me to dinner off the field, who mentored me, and then getting called up to the big leagues, you know, I had other veterans that played the same position as me and and they were there helping me not rooting against me and so i owe a huge amount of my individual success to these other players when i was younger and so i do feel that i want to continue to do that and they set the example of how to be a teammate now as you know i've become more of the veteran player we have younger guys it's something i've always remembered and appreciated and i want to you know, kind of carry that on and, and hopefully I can share some wisdom that was shared with me and, and help these guys. It'll help them individually. It'll help our team. Um, and then hopefully as, you know, my career ends and, and they're the veterans here, then they'll be doing that to the young guys and, you know, just keep um, keep this organization, you know, strong and, and keep the team well and, and just kind of, uh, you know, how it goes. Speaking of veterans and, and guys who have a wealth of knowledge, how great is it from your perspective to see Wayno back and, and Yachty back, and you guys are, you know, all back together at spring training. Yeah, that was huge for us. Those are our two leaders, uh, you know, more than anyone, and they have so much success and, and knowledge, and, and they're great players and, and great teammates. So, um, you know, I love playing with them. I love competing with them. Guys who want to win as much as anyone, they push uh, everyone else to be the best that they can. And, um, you know, we all just try to carry on that tradition. and. You know, are excited for this year, excited to go out there and compete and, and see what we can do. Last thing before we let you go, um, it seems like there will be a fan present presence at some point. You know, I know there's going to be some at spring training. Hopefully things get better as you progress. But just from, I know you're a guy who appreciates the fans and especially the ones in St. Louis, just the promise of having some fans, whatever the number, whatever they can do safely, everyone knows safety first, but to have some fan presence during the regular season, what will that mean to you as a player? Yeah, I think it'll be fun for us, but I think more importantly, it'll be great for the fans. We know how the fans go you know, around St. Louis and, and even you know spreading out from there, um, how much they love the Cardinals and how much they support us. And for them to be able to, you know, for us to be able to play a full season and then for some people to be able to see it in person is, is huge. And um, like I said, it'll be good for us, but I think even more just understanding how important it is for the fans to be able to hopefully you know, put a smile on their face, win some games, have people, you know, enjoy going to the ballpark, um, maybe get to interact with them a little bit. Who knows what that'll be like. But um, we understand, you know, their support for us, how much they want us to succeed. And, and we want to succeed just as much, if not more. And um, it'll be fun to, to get to do that, hopefully. 
I have a feeling you guys are going to be wanting a lot of games. Paul, I know the last thing you wanted to do was working all morning and then doing the, the scrum with the holes is to wait around for me. Thank you, Paul. I always appreciate it. Anytime. Thanks.